Hey guys, what's up? This is the Noob Next Door, and we are back here playing Oblivion, uh, doing the Dark Brotherhood quest line as an assassin. Um, well, of course, Dark Brotherhood is all about assassinship, if you didn't know. But of course, you probably knew that. But, um, we're still sticking to our whole oath of no magic because we are trying to be as assassin like as possible, like human assassin. But, yeah. Um,. We, last time, if you do not remember or you didn't see the video, which a lot of- I'm uh, ah, my bad. I'm sorry, because my last video, compared to most of my videos, like, recently, got, like, a lot less views. Like, usually, nowadays, I'll get, like, an average of three or four views per video, like, on average. But, I only got one view on, uh, the last video, surprisingly. And I also didn't even upload a video yesterday, like, I, um, actually ended up doing stuff. I actually ended up going to the beach. Like, I was about to record a video for a new series. I was about to set up for a video for a new series that I will be starting, which I kind of don't want to spoil, but I kind of do at the same time. Um, but I was setting up for all of that. And then my friend called me saying, hey, you want to go to the beach? So yeah, we went to the beach, and I ended up not having any time when I got back to upload a video. Because I had nothing recorded at all. I had nothing prepared. I was just me, myself, and Irene. Um, <laughs> Alright, so we are back here at the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, and Ezio is about to go tell his, uh, whatever you want to call him, his, um, what would you call him? What would you call that Vincent guy with- There you are. So, the accident has been staged and Bainlin, I present to you this dagger. It's an enchanted blade known as- Yes, you are quite an asset to this sanctuary. In fact, I believe you are ready for advancement. I now go, child of Sithi. Alright, so we have yet been advanced to a new rank, Slayer. So there it is right there, you can see it on this list. Um, and we actually got a new weapon too, so let's actually give that a, a quick check out. So, um, when we look at our... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, it actually does a lot less than I had hoped. Well, the damage health thing could come in handy, but you need an enchantment for that. And we're trying to go without enchantments, just because they kind of get in the way a little bit. But we will, uh, we'll actually get another, another that contract right now. As always, you A prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected to the Imperial cities. Just outside the Imperial prison is a grating that leads to the sewers. It has recently... It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? Valen Dreth has been imprisoned for many years. His tongue is sharp, but his body is... You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison. Alright, so... This is actually one of my favorite, um... Favorite, favorite, favorite contracts for the Dark Brotherhood. And it is also, um, Ezio here. Ezio is actually really, really excited to fulfill this contract because... At the beginning of the game, the series, the first season, not this season, but the beginning of the main quest season, uh, or if you guys ever played Oblivion, you know the guy who yells at you th from jail cell, like, hey, you over there, you're gonna die in here. Uh, yeah, he is our, our target right now. And Ezio could not be happier that he was a chosen target for this, because Ezio, uh, he, he's one to hold grudges. Like I said, he has trust issues and all that. He, he doesn't really hold a grudge to the point where he's gonna go out of his way. But if he, if he, if you give him, he doesn't necessarily dislike everyone. He, he has, he just doesn't befriend them and he has kind of leaves them alone. Like he, he might prefer some, he might even actually prefer some people over others. Like, like if he were to have friends, he picks out the people that would be his friends, but he still doesn't consider them friends. He has considers them more valuable assets that will not get in his way as much um, but this guy here this guy gave him a reason to hate him at the very beginning of Ezio's journey and now Ezio is super stoked to go and actually be able to kill him 
Okay. The only difficulty here is getting past all of the guards. And, and uh, okay, so... Okay. Um, poop. Alright, I think we're going into- Oh! Okay. Let's take out our dagger, actually, because it's small- Oh! It's still a one-hit kill. That's all good. Do we go in here? We do. We do! We have to take- I've always found this part kind of confusing, because you would think you would take the same way back, but you don't- you don't, apparently. But... Is that a fish? No. Um, I kinda don't want to use my torch right now, because it does attract more attention. In See? That mud crab, those mud crab would have never seen me had I not uh, had my torch out. It's not like a mud crab's gonna do anything, but if we do encounter some goblins, or once we get to the actual um, the actual guard portion of this, which is a pain, uh, we will definitely not be needing torches or using torches. At least we might need them, but we won't. We won't use them. But uh, oh hey, another one. Wow, we're freaking killing everything, aren't we? But this is, uh, actually I wanted to talk about something back there when we were still at the sanctuary. But I totally, like, brain farted because I went off on a tangent. And yes, started talking about all the other crap about this quest and how is super... <laughs> oh, God. The comedy, it was so easy. Um. But I think this might actually be the part where we actually are... Nope, not yet. Still have to go pretty, pretty deep, I guess, until we could actually start uh, killing. Or we're only killing one person if we want our bonus, which we do. So we're going to try not to kill any guards. But if, if get out of here, slaughterfish. We haven't encountered any slaughterfish yet. This, uh, this game, I guess you could say this, this series. Um, I guess it is all one series, Oblivion. But we're just split into like chapters. Um, so, it is all one series still, so yeah. But we have, I think that might have been our first slaughterfish encounter. And we actually have to go this way, which I didn't know I was going over here. Yes, because I wanted to kill stuff. I was like, like, the sanctum. Oh, yeah, okay, so this up here is where we need to go. But, um, what I was saying from the sanctuary, the vampire guy who was giving us our mission, he actually said, I think you know the way, or I think you know the path, ha, ha, like he was making jokes. What are we guarding? Uh, actually, we don't have any invisibility spells, but if we have any potions, which we don't, I would have used them. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we don't have any. Shadow. That's it. I'm not. Alright, we've been spotted. Yeah, there. there's no way to do this without to invisibility <laughs> potions and... Hey, hey, chill. Here is where, uh... This is like the body of the assassin that killed the Emperor and all that. Because if you remember, this was at the beginning of the game when we killed... the Or when the Emperor was killed. Oh! Hey. Yeah, it's a good thing we are an assassin with very stealth and, uh, we're... Or a lot of... Not really stealth in this situation, but... Agility because we could uh, actually get around and get to where What's we need to go a lot faster. I am not getting tired. Um, oh god, isn't this fun? But he, what he said, okay, I've been trying to say this for like ever. What he said, which I thought was really funny, was he was like, I think you know the way, and he kind of chuckled. Which, um, let's go up here, why not? Oh, they blocked it off, we can't go back in the caves. But he chuckled, like, I think you know the way. Like, he knows that we are the prisoner. Because he also mentioned that. He's like, a prisoner recently escaped the Imperial prison. And he, uh, left a passageway open that leads back up to where you need to kill this guy who's been in jail forever. And I thought it was hilarious how he said, I think you know the way. Like, he knows it was us. Nobody else. We've never revealed to anybody that we were the prisoner, um... Nobody at all. I don't think you even told Joffrey or Martin that you were a prisoner in the prison. I think the only person that knows, uh, after the fact is Boris, um, after you actually get out. And, 
Let's take these keys and let's read these books. Maybe they'll help us. Oh. All right. Hey. 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 We don't need you doing that. Wait. The might. The night mother says the goodbye. No. You died so easily. He died way easily. All right. Okay, wait, what is it? What did it say? Valandress, that no guards have been killed. I must return to. Um. We could either go out through this door. Or we cannot do that and go back out through the sewers because if we go out through there, we will get, um. The, the guards will want to talk to us if they see, um. These guys chasing me. And we do not need that happening because then they will actually take every. All right, they won't. They'll. I'll have to pay a fine, and then I get my uh, my stolen goods taken. I don't even know if I have any stolen goods on me right now, but I don't want to get them taken. But um, yeah, this is fun, right? Shit. All right, my commentary is really off this episode. I feel. I feel like my commentary is just off, like terrible. God dang. But, um, I'd like to, real quick, here, right here, um, please ask every, or, I would like to ask everybody to please leave a like and a subscribe on my channel and on this video because, uh, it really does help me as a YouTuber. I'm just trying to grow a larger fan base right now so that I could have more people interacting with me in my videos and whatnot, uh, so that we could both, me and the viewers, could have, like, a fun time with it. Uh, uh, rather than yes, like me, because I have a fun time with it already. Like I'm not gonna say that it's not fun making YouTube videos, because then it would be like, what's the point? Like, like why would I be making YouTube videos if I didn't enjoy it, right? But I do enjoy making YouTube video. Crap, 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 crappity crap. You know what? Let's check real quick right now. If we have anything stolen. What key is that? Edgar's discount spells. No, we could just steal them back from the evidence chest, so we'll, we'll go back. Oh, wait. No. I found the way. I lied. We're not going back. Ah. But, um, yeah. I want to build a, a larger fan base just for uh, more entertainment for you guys and for me because then you could be leaving comments like we replying to your comments um, yeah it would really I would really highly appreciate it I've been trying to get more for a while and it's it's been so hard to gain more subscribers I don't know if it's my commentary that people don't like if it's just like the, the quality of my videos isn't too great because of my current capture card but um, it's not like terrible, so I don't see what everybody's like really too what I'm too worried about. Because like the videos are still watchable. You're watching it right now, I I hope. But like it's really not that bad. It's not like it's super pixelated or anything. It's not as good as it could be. I, and it bugs me just as much as it bugs the viewers, but yeah. And I also like to um for anybody out there who likes Pokemon and watches Pokemon videos, uh if you could go to the description and click on that link to go to the video for I'm doing a Pokemon Ruby egg lock and I need eggs so if you want to send me some just click that lady or that video and it will teach you everything you gotta do so that's yeah but yeah guys actually I think that is going to do it for this episode um, so if you enjoyed like I said please leave a like and a subscribe and we will catch you next time on Let's Play Oblivion, the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah. Bye. Please help.